McQueen is fading. This could be the end of a generation of basketball as we know it. And it's sad to see because some of these guys never got a ring. But this new generation of talent is here. And I'm afraid that it's too late for some of the guys in the older generation to get a ring. Now, if you guys have been watching the NBA playoffs like I have, you guys would know that the guys that have been dominating like the 2010s era of basketball, it's not looking too good for them. This is what kind of sparked my idea to make a video about this type of stuff. I put out a tweet, McQueen is fading and i put you know four pictures of guys that are black and white pretty much these guys are pretty much at the end of their career and it's sad to see you know lebron curry kd and then we have a picture of paul george and Kawhi leonard but in the same picture you could pretty much have james harden and russell westbrook at this point in time i don't know if these guys are capable of still leading a team to winning a ring and that sucks for guys like Paul George, who just never got one. Chris Paul, who's not in this picture, but with the Warriors, he never got one. James Harden, Russell Westbrook, but the new era of talent, and I like the new era of talent. I like the new guys, you know, Jokic, Luka, we're gonna get into all of them, but ah, it just, it just kind of sucks. It just kind of sucks that these guys are going out like this. And I'm not saying that none of them could ever win because I will say maybe one of them, Maybe, you know, Curry, maybe the Warriors somehow, I'm probably just being an optimistic Warriors fan, but maybe the Warriors somehow build this crazy team around it because the team right now that's around the Warriors, around Steph Curry, is not gonna work. That's not gonna work. So maybe, you know, superstars are gonna have to team up. Maybe we'll see LeBron and Steph Curry team up. I kind of feel like that could happen. I don't know. Maybe that, that would be kind of crazy or KD. I don't know. I don't know what would have to happen, but as it currently stands, the Suns are not looking good. The Lakers are not looking good. The Clippers aren't looking good. And there's even more guys we could talk about that just aren't looking good. Are just getting dominated this postseason by that younger generation. First things first, the Lakers are absolutely hooping. And I, sh I shouldn't say the Lakers. I shouldn't say the Lakers. LeBron James and Anthony Davis are absolutely hooping. I mean, look at these averages right here. Anthony Davis this postseason in the first four games is averaging almost 31 points per game, 16 boards per game. That's insane. LeBron James, 27 points per game, eight and a half assists per game, 6.3 rebounds per game. Like LeBron and AD are hooping, but the Nuggets are just too good. And I've been saying this. I mean, everyone's been saying such a terrible matchup that the Lakers got in the first round against the Nuggets. I think the Nuggets are going to win it all. I've been making numerous amounts of videos saying that they're going to win it all they're going to beat the celtics in the finals that's my prediction of course the celtics are still the favorites to win the finals but in lebron's age 39 season playing the way he is he's playing insane that's what i'm saying he's playing insane you have anthony davis beside him also playing insane averaging 31 and 16 essentially in four games how much better can it get you know what i'm saying and the lakers are down one to three or whatever they're down three one to the nuggets and I wasn't even sure if they were gonna win that fourth game, but they did. I did take LeBron's over on points on the underdog, you know what I'm saying? So I kind of expected them to kind of put up a little fight. Wasn't sure if they'd win the game, but they did. Now, Lakers fans all over Twitter are starting to say, LeBron could win, you know, four straight here. And this would cement him as the GOAT if he pulled off a 3-0 comeback against the Nuggets. Now that's a whole nother conversation maybe if they get close to it if they win you know another game or two games maybe i'll make a whole video about that but no team in nba history has ever came back from being down a 3-0 so i mean if anyone's gonna do it i guess it would be lebron but against the nuggets i, I don't know i don't think that's the team that someone's gonna come back 3-0 on and so what i'm saying is lebron james age 39 it's just looking tough especially if he was to stay in la with the nuggets and had just how crazy the west is I want to see it. I want to see these superstars, especially LeBron, Curry, KD. I want to see them go on deep playoff runs, but it's just not looking good. You know, we're going to talk about a lot of the current players that are still in the postseason. But real quick, I do want to talk about Curry, not for too long, but Curry and even Chris Paul. Again, I just talked about it before. The, the current state of the Warriors is not going to get it done. Curry is age 36. Chris Paul, I don't know how old he is, probably a little older, 38, something like that. Not looking good for them. That's pretty much what I'm gonna leave it at. Next guy that it sadly could be over for as far as, you know, deep playoff runs go or potentially winning a legit ring, if you wanna say that. Of course, he has two rings with the Warriors, but a lot of people don't count him. So KD might end his career with essentially never leading a team. And I'm not gonna say that because he did. 
he, he led the I mean him and Steph Curry led the Warriors to you know two rings but it's kind of weird it's a weird it's a weird two rings but at the same time he never really went out by himself and led his own team to get a ring and right now it's looking bad they're down 3-0 potentially tonight they can get swept by the time you're seeing this they might have gotten swept and this is a team that i was optimistic about i said in my playoff prediction video that i had the suns winning in game seven and i didn't feel great about it but when you have kevin durant devin booker bradley beal you know you also got grayson allen yusuf nurkic it's a solid roster it is but when you're going up against a defensive team like the minnesota timberwolves and you got anthony edwards who's been absolutely hooping like if you watch these games and i'm sure tonight it's going to be the same exact thing anthony edwards is coming out and he is in attack mode he is i mean he is aggressive he's going straight to the basket you can even see he isn't even shooting or making too many three pointers he's in absolute attack mode and this team defensively is just all over this team i mean look at devin booker's numbers he's averaging 20. that's not okay if the Suns are going to go anywhere and just you know regular d book numbers he's got to be averaging like 27 28 these numbers are not cutting it 43 percent from the field 26 percent from three i mean tonight is a huge game for devin booker because this is this is unacceptable playoff basketball i think he knows it too and d book's one of my favorite players so i'm hoping for it but it's not looking good for the suns as well that's another reason why i'm making this video lebron the lakers not looking good kd and the suns not looking good these guys are getting old they are and who are they losing to kind of the newer generation i'm not lumping Jokic into that lebron curry generation i'm just not he's 29 years old so he's not too young but i think he's in that new generation anthony edwards is 22 years old he's a part of that new generation katie's 35 you know what i'm saying so they're all these old guys if you want to call them that are losing to the young guys right now man this one this one hurts because paul george has always been one of my favorite players he's 33 years old now and i thought this was gonna be the year i mean earlier in the season you know early pre all-star break pre-trade deadline you know what i'm saying first 50 games of the season the clippers were looking like they could come out of the west they really were and even up until the playoff they still had a chance i had the clippers winning the series in seven i still believed in them but now i don't know my, my my ideas or whatever my mind has shifted i think the mavs are going to be winning this series and i don't know if i hope i'm wrong i don't know i just want good basketball at the end of the day for this clippers team with a lot of the guys that dominated the 2010s you got paul george you got james harden russell westbrook Kawhi leonard it, this could be it i mean i'm not saying this could be it because maybe next year something happens maybe the year after they're not at that age like lebron is or steph curry really you know 39 37 you know they're not up at that, that age of like chris paul they're a little bit younger but still that generation the from the 2010s you just getting absolutely dominated and who are the clippers getting dominated by the new generation luka Doncic, age 25 and i'm not gonna say they're getting dominated because they're not the, the mavs are up 2-1 but to me it feels like the mavs they're gonna win the series i'm not always right with my predictions you know in fact i get a lot of them wrong but in game one i mean look actually that's that's a bad thing to say well, well i could just say for the whole mavs team it just felt like a lot of their shots weren't falling in game one but you could see luca literally shot the same percentage in game one and two so i guess saying his shots weren't falling wouldn't make sense because he shot the same and then they won so you know what i'm saying but it just feels like game one was an off game for the Mavs and now they're really hitting their stride of course you also can't leave out Kyrie Irving who's age 32 which is kind of a weird age where he's kind of stuck between generations but I, I kind of want to put him in that LeBron generation same with Kawhi Leonard who's also 32. this is like an old age 32 in, in basketball years or whatever in basketball age is usually considered old but how we're seeing you know lebron james perform at age 39 it's kind of like changing expectations or kd at age 35 by age 35 dudes are usually declining like fast or where is he i don't think i have steph curry pulled up anymore but you know what i'm saying these guys are performing insane at such an old age where kyrie at age 32 usually that's the back end of your career you know you got a few more good years uh Kawhi leonard as well but I don't know people's expectations have kind of changed now i feel like with lebron and they they kind of expect these guys like Kawhi to be playing like Kawhi until he's probably i would say like 36 37 now which 
I don't, I don't really expect, but I feel like a lot of people would. So now you got this kind of newer generation that's looking like it's here. Like it's, we've been waiting. We've been waiting for like, when is LeBron gonna fall off? And if you think this is him falling off, then it is what it is. This isn't really him falling off. He's hooping at an insane level at age 39. He's just versing the defending champs and the team that's most likely, in my opinion, gonna go win it again. So you got Jokic, you got Luka Doncic. This is the new generation. These are the guys that are leading the way. Anthony, oh wait, I didn't mean to put him in here. Anthony, that's, that's no, no. We meant to have Anthony Edwards. So Jokic, Luka Doncic, Anthony Edwards, age 22, Jason Tatum, age 26, SGA, age 25, Giannis, age 29. He's kind of in the weird range where he's between both generations, but I'm gonna put him in this one. If we're putting Jokic in this generation, we're gonna put Giannis. Wemby, age 20, and Paolo age 21 and Wemby of course isn't in the playoffs but we know he's going to be insane he's going to be leading this generation Paolo again some people wouldn't put him at the top of this generation but he's going to be one of the guys you know what I mean he's going to be one of the guys and if you want to exclude Jokic and Giannis you could you could say Luka and Tatum SGA Wemby and Paolo I mean this generation is crazy but it's just kind of hard for me at least as a basketball fan let me know about you guys to just accept that you know it's over that it's that it's over for this last generation you know the lebrons the curries the kds you know the the, the james hardens the russell westbrooks the paul george it's kind of hard to just say wow like yeah they, they might not win ever again sorry for my phone if you hear that but uh Giannis, i think is out i think i'm just getting alerts about that but yeah it's just hard to accept like it's it might be over like they might not win again and the guys that are going to win again luca Ant, Tatum, SGA, Wemby, Pala, Jokic, Giannis, guys like that. Yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Which of these older guys that were mentioned in today's video do you think could win a ring still? Let me know. I'm, I'm gonna be comment. I'm gonna be replying to all y'all. Sub if you guys haven't, because we're actually like 10 subs away from hitting 2,000, which would mean a lot to me. Drop a like if you guys haven't, and click the video, pop up your screen right here if you haven't seen it yet.